we will just look at the nature of a consignment account and then we'll go on to the accounting entries in case of consignment. First consignment account is prepared in the books of the consigner. The consigner's goods, consigner sends the goods to the consignee so that the consignee will sell the goods on behalf of the consigner. So the consigner may want to know the profit on each consignment that he sets. So consignment to Kanpur on so and so date, he might have a consignment account and find out what is the profit on that particular consignment. So the purpose consignment account is prepared in the books of the consigner. What is the purpose? Purpose is to ascertain the profit or loss on consignment. Since it is to ascertain profit or loss on consignment, it is a nominal account. <clears throat> it is a nominal account. It is debited with the goods sent on consignment, with the cost of goods, with the cost of goods sent on consignment, with all expenses which are incurred either by the consigner or by the consignee. We should not forget the commission which is payable to the consignee. So these are the expenses. So the consignment account is debited with all the expenses. Then it is credited with the goods sold, with the value, with the sales value. Sale value of the goods sold. It is credited with the closing stock, unsold. The cost of closing inventories, cost of unsold stock and abnormal loss if any. Abnormal loss. Abnormal loss is credited to the consignment account because we want to know the actual profit on consignment and any effect of abnormal situations, maybe a fire, a flood, abnormal loss or theft in transit, etc. would be removed so that the actual profit on consignment can be gauged. Actual profit due to normal circumstances. The profit under normal circumstances can be asserted. The balance in the consignment account, if you notice, we had debited the consignment account with the cost. Cost of the goods, consignor expense, consignee expense, commission which is payable to the consignee, etc. So it's debited with the expenses, it is credited with the sales. Therefore, when we get a credit balance or the credit side is more, we get a profit. Credit balance in this account is Keeping this logic in mind, so consignment account is a nominal account which is being debited with all the expenses on consignment, is being credited with the income of the sales and the closing stock. Keeping this in mind, let us try to frame the entries for different transactions which arise in a consignment. 